Hey you, yeah you, the one alone in the corner with no friends. Let us fuel your insanity with a book of madness. The Call of Cthulhu by H.P. Lovecraft is the perfect option to spiral down to some of the darkest places even you didn't know you had. It all starts with a college professor that has been murdered, on accident, leaving his grandnephew, who we don't know the name of because apparently Lovecraft's favorite thing to do was to write an anonymous second person. He doesn't really need a name, does he? to go through all the rubbish that he is left with, where he makes a startling discovery that leaves him wanting to know more. Because it's not much of a story if he just shoves his only evidence in a filing cabinet and forgets about it. Um, he then so travels around hearing from people who are recently dead to very dead and ends up in the shadow of a grotesque great celestial wow. whose name is rather hard to spell. In a story where finding an anaphomorphic squid plaque can get you targeted by a cult, it will keep you guessing at every turn. From, I like this statue too, wait, there's a cult, in seconds. This is also a book for the whole family. After all, nothing screams, buy me for all the people you know, like a story with a killer cephalopod, and themes about the darkness of a mind beyond comprehension. What fun! So come, and learn that murder is bad unless it's trying to appease an ancient god that will bring unimaginable terror. H.P. Lovecraft's The Call of Cthulhu is the book for you and your friends, if you had them. Are we done here? Good, because I have some important business to attend to within the closet. Oh, hi. Oh, it's so good to see you. Oh, hi, Larry. Hi, it's good to see you in the back. Yes. Thank you, everyone in general, for sticking around for that ad. Sorry, we just, we just have to run them, pretty much. Um, but thank you so much for coming to the late, late, late night show with me. Your host. Now, today I have a really special treat for you that I can't wait to break out. I have the man who single-handedly discovered the entire Cthulhu cult. Now, for security reasons, we cannot show his face or his name or his such and such and such, but still, we can hear his voice, and that's a pleasure. So, without further ado, I would like you to meet him. Hi, it's good to hear so many people. Thanks for having me. Ah, no problem. So anyways, the crowd wants to know, and I want to know too, how well did you know your uncle when he got you into this mess? Uh, well, he was my granduncle, and I was put upon the task of sorting through all of his belongings. That kind of led me down this rabbit hole. So it was when he was pushed off a boat and died. That is when you got involved? Correct. So after doing all this research on Cthulhu and his cult followers, do you necessarily consider yourself safe? No, his cult members will do anything to keep as much of him as possible secret. I'm a prime target. And finally, do you think that Cthulhu, or a part of him, is necessarily following you? Perhaps. I don't think so. Thank you for that swell introduction. Now, are we ready to begin my interview? Uh, when did you get here? As long as there has been insanity and madness, I have been dreaming. Uh, swell. What do you plan on doing in the future? I will restore order to this virtual world, a world that has been torn by chaos. We'll see. Okay, now who exactly are you? I am Kulu, the cooler of the deep, devourer of the suns, creator and destroyer of madness, and I will see this world be burnt. Okay then, um... Karen, I think we're just gonna run the end credits now. Uh, thank you everyone, you've been a wonderful audience.